from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top story is kicking the coronavirus vaccination effort into high gear now after the European Union's regulatory body declared the AstraZeneca vaccine safe and effective against the virus. Local health officials now moving into high gear to get as many persons as possible vaccinated. Right now we have this particular center open. Um, this is up to 500. Uh, Princess Margaret um, can can do, they're doing about 80 or so a day. They can expand that depending on demand. Um, we don't, we, we're going to go to Sandlands today to look at what their capacity is. Doctors Hospital has the capacity to do about 100 and something a day. Ed Fields is the deputy chairman of the COVID consultative committee and he says they just need more vaccine at this point. We had all the vaccine in the world we could get up to where we could do 2,500 people a day because we have sites already identified we have sites already planned we have we, we are even looking at drive-through sites so we're ready to go once we get the supply currently sites are doctors and the princess margaret hospital and loyola hall Governor General Smith among those getting the shot yesterday. There's another development. Persons over 65 are now being invited to register online to get their first shot. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials releasing the latest numbers. 15 cases reported for Wednesday spread over the capital, Grand Bahama and Abaco. Hospitalizations jumping a bit. 26 persons now in with three in the ICU. The numbers have been good, and it's prompting the competent authority to relax the restrictions on weddings and funerals. Up to 40 persons can now attend. Another immigration issue for the government to deal with, Supreme Court Justice Bernard Turner has given the government until April 7th to explain why a group of persons who came from Cameroon seeking asylum has been detained for two years with no charges filed against them. Police have completed their investigation into a recent murder in Abaco. 23-year-old Raymond Bain arraigned on related charges in court in Grand Bahama yesterday in connection with the March 14th shooting death of a Sandy Point man. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a weak frontal system in the area. Not much weather with this. Partly sunny and breezy. Highs from the low to mid-80s. 80 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a low tide now. The next high around 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. There's a chance of showers developing. Lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products, so give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people paper biggest and best friday's world news headlines european countries who had suspended use of the astrazeneca coronavirus vaccine over blood clot concerns now trying to figure out how to start again after the eu's medical authority declared the vaccine safe and effective yesterday several countries had suspended use there are major concerns over another surge of the virus in europe Italy and Germany among the countries reporting increasing cases. More gun violence in the U.S. A total of eight persons, most of them Asian Americans, were shot and killed in Atlanta. A suspect is in custody, and officials are now trying to determine if this was a hate crime. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 452, SO 452, Rubus $4.52 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. A decision on after-school sports this year 
read about it in the Tribune Sports. Ladies on Jazz Chisholm, he's turning some heads. Looks like he's going to be a starter for the Marlins in Major League Baseball. 14 points, 7 rebounds for DeAndre Aiden last night in the NBA. But the Suns lost to Minnesota. Read about that and get the rest of the NBA news. And the NCAA March Madness Basketball Tournament is underway. Read the details of some of the opening games in the Tribune Sports Friday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.